go over gold. All right. This is the setup this morning. I marked up market profile right here, and I said we need to violate market profile. We get outside HVR LVA. Then you look for the first retracement trade and look for a Fibonacci arrow. The beautiful thing about market profile, it's worked since 1985. And what it does, it takes all the volume in the market. It looks all the volume from all the algorithms, the hedge funds, prop firms, professional amateur traders, etc. And it it's, uh, looks at my algorithm. What it does, it looks at these major support and resistance levels, and it prints out the footprint of what the market is doing. So in other words, this big red line that is printed out is volume profile, and the big green line is uh, also volume profile. This is low value area in green, high value area in red. There's two important profiles that you need to understand. The first profile is the volume profile. That's that thick red, blue, and green line. HVA is the red. The control point is the blue. That's the most volume that's traded in that instrument during the day. And the low value is the green. That is really good support and really good resistance if it's broken. So what we talked about is if we break outside of these value levels, we have no support below us if you break below low value. So if you break below here, you have no support. And if you break above high value, you have no resistance. So those typically are great trades for nice little trades that turn into runners. So what we talked about this morning before it broke is what we want to see is we want to get outside of this value area. Once you break outside, you're looking for an ABC pattern or a retracement pattern. Break through, do a retest, and we're going to look for a fib arrow to fire right on that retest. And that's your continuation. So that's how we use market profile. If you notice how important market profile is, I'll put crude over next to it real quick, and I'll show you how neat this is. Is We're bouncing off the control point right now here, right now at this point, but yesterday... I want to show you how developing called the major moves. Look how important market profile is. My thin red line was a breakout. It broke out above it. That's the developing profile, and it tested right on it for a big trade. This is where our fib arrow is fired right here, right here where it tested developing, and right here where it broke out of developing again and retested it for that big move up. So the thin red line, the thin green line, and these volume profiles are very important on price action because it can dictate when a market is breaking out and when it can get some speed. So we knew that if gold broke out of the low value area and retested, we're going to look for a Fib arrow to fire. And that's what happened over here in this Fibonacci arrow. So that's market profile. That's how we like to use it. We like to use it for support and resistance. It's, it's very, very leading. It's worked since 1985 on catching these moves. In fact, you can just trade market profile by itself with our system. We do not use a 30-minute market profile. We use a long, longer-term profile to catch the majority of volume coming in the market on a bigger time frame. So that gives us really static profiles longer than a 30-minute market profile. 30-minute market profile, the profiles change too much. So the footprint you look at on gold and crude and all these other markets with our market profile, it shows you a footprint of a bigger scale, meaning of more volume, comprised of more volume coming in. The, when the volume comes in the market, it takes a bigger sample of what actually is coming in the market. Not a 30-minute sample. It takes a larger sample, which gives you more accurate results. So when we broke through low-value area, you look for the retracement back up to low-value area. There's my three market profiles that are stacked. Volume profile, developing, price profile, the dots not as important. But when it retested, do we have Fibonacci arrows that fire? This Fibonacci arrow fired exactly on the retest. And this is a great setup right here. Now, I keep teaching traders in these conference calls to look for a Fib arrow with this vertical bar. These are very big inflection points in the market because what that vertical bar tells me, that vertical bar tells me there's an indecision between buyers and sellers on a retracement. But that's not even enough. Because when I get that vertical bar, I want to see a fib arrow that fires. So if I see a fib arrow that fires, which we had here on this break retest of low value, I know I'm in a great spot to short the market. So good job, Lloyd, on taking that trade, bud, because you were right on top of it. So if you look at it, it caught a big one here at 441 this morning and one at 730 this morning also. 
these are great bars to get into in a downtrend. Great indecision bars in a downtrend. But if you get a fibula that fires with it, you're even better in a better position than you are even without it because that's the sweet spot in the market. So remember, we have two trade setups we look for. We look for a retracement setup and a momentum setup. That's the only two setups we have in this trade room. And it's pretty simple to understand. A retracement setup is off this Fibonacci chart. And a momentum setup is off of this Fibonacci chart. All right. Back in the day when I first had the system, they were blue and red dots that printed. And I just, when Ninja 8 came out, I made them into arrows. It's the same exact system. I have not changed the system. I've just changed to make it easier so you can see what the most important arrows are. So there's momentum set up. Okay. So momentum and retracement. Now, how can you tell the difference? What's the difference in trading a retracement setup and a momentum setup? Now, we go over this in videos all the time. It's the same two setups every single day, every single week, all markets. It happened all in 2016, all in 2017, same setup, all 2018, 19. We'll do the same thing the next 5, 10 years. It's the same exact setup. Where either Mark's going to retrace or it has momentum. It can only do two things, go vertical or sideways on us. So momentum setup right there. So how do we look for a retracement setup? A retracement setup is when the trend chart is, let's say that we have moving averages on the trend chart. A retracement setup happens when you get an opposite color candle that comes in against a trend chart. So there's the green candles. Remember, I keep telling you guys and gals I have a trend filter built into this Rinko bar. It's not a standard Rinko bar. So if I get a, a, a green bar that prints, I'm looking to sell the next retracement up. I'm looking to sell that. How can I find the area? The best time to find the area is where's my SIM dots? These SIM dots by themselves are not are not very very good by themselves, right? Because we use them as a, they're called a secondary or a third indicator. But they're great as a secondary indicator when our big indicator, the trend chart or market profile, tell us we have a trade setup. So our trend filter said we get a trade setup coming because when it prints a green bar, it tells me that I've got a retracement coming and the counter trend traders come to the market. So my big chart tells me, my trend chart right here tells me that I'm looking for a trade setup. I immediately look to the next chart, and that is my retracement chart. Where's my SIM dots? My SIM dots were at 1287. It needs to come in at least within two ticks, so I have a small stop. So I'm going to come within two ticks of my SIM dots. When, right when I come within two ticks, I want to see negative market delta. It can exceed it. I just don't like closing below it or above it for shorts or below it for buys. So it came right up to it, exceeded by a little bit. You didn't close above it by the body of the candle. You got a, a red Fibonacci arrow. That's where you short. Negative market delta confirmed, and that's a retracement trade. That's a retracement trade right here, okay? It's called a retracement trade. Well, what if I never get a green bar that prints opposite of the trend? That's called a retracement trade. What if I never get it? What if I only get red bars? That's retracement trade. What if I just get red bars like this? What happens if I just get red bar in my trend chart? Red bar, red bar, red bar, red bar. Remember, I got a trend filter built in. That's okay. No worries. Because I know that I'm in a momentum trade now. Momentum trade is my far right Fibonacci chart. I only use the momentum chart for momentum trades. So what I want to do is when I was all red here, all red. I broke the LVA. I, re, I retested, but I was all red here on my trend, on my on my um, on my Fibonacci chart. I mean, on my trend chart. All red. So if I'm all red, what I want to do? I want to take a momentum trade like this and like this because I'm all red bars, and I want to take a momentum momentum setup. So how you want to do it then is you want to trade. What you want to do is you want to trade the far right chart when we're all red, and when you want to trade the chart next to the trend chart, the retracement chart, when you have an opposite color against the trend. It's a deeper retracement. So I now I now I have the deeper retracement taken care of, and I got the momentum taken care of. I got both setups taken care of, momentum and retracement. And that's only two setups you need to know in the market. Out of all the years that I've been looking at the market, starting in the late 90s, I mean late 80s, early 90s, 
really starting to get involved heavily in 1994. And then from that standpoint, I moved into a small order execution trader in the mid-90s. And the one thing I learned about price action is that retracement trading is the best type of trading you're going to get because if you can figure out the trend, you're 50% there. My trend filter with my filter built in, we understand how to trade that. And let's say you enter a chop market and we're going sideways where you're in between market profile like we are in gold or crude right now. Crude, we're chop. That's where market profile takes over because we're in between the control point and the developing profile. But look how the control point called the low and developing is called the high. And I knew that you can control, I mean, you, you play off those value areas. I told traders that. Look what it's doing. Bounce off the control. Came right up to developing like I talked about. What's it doing? Coming right off the developing for continuation again. So if you're in a flat market, trade a market profile by itself. Don't trade Fibero's. But if you're trending down like you were yesterday and today, we're all red. Trade the far right chart, the momentum chart. If you get an opposite color candle against the trend filter, trade the retracement setup. That's the only two setups you need to understand, momentum and retracement. That's it. The market can only do two things. That's it. When you're going vertical, it can only have a retracement setup and a momentum setup with the fib arrows. I have specifically designed setups for you. If I'm all red on my trend filter, only trade the momentum chart. If I'm Close green, I know I'm a deeper retracement, only trade the retracement chart. If I'm flat and I'm sideways in between market profile, I only trade market profile. I do not trade Fibonacci arrows because retracement, retracement Fib arrows do not work in a sideways market if you're flat as a pancake. And you'll know when it's flat if both your trend chart and market profile is sideways. Okay? That's how we do it. Like right now, we're on a momentum setup. Why? Why am I why am I in a momentum setup? Because it's not very hard. Take this chart. Take that chart. What do we have? There's another one that's right now is negative market delta. Because look, we're all red. We're all red. So you can only trade this chart right here. You can only trade this chart, negative 111, negative 111. You can only trade this momentum chart right here. You can't trade the retracement chart because it's not green. Don't make it difficult. That's just price action. It's worked for since 1985. It's crazy. Crazy how accurate it is when you apply the rules. Okay?